H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to another video of H2K Infosys. Uh, in this particular video, we are going to see the concept of properties file. And we see an example of the properties file also. So let us first understand what is a properties object. The properties object uh, contains uh, key value pairs both as a string. The key is also in the string format and the value of the key is also in string format. It is basically one of the subclasses or rather a child class of the hash table class. Hash table class belongs to the map interface of the collections framework. It can be used to get a property value based on the property key. So we can get the value of the key okay, by using the get prop property method. Okay, the properties class provides methods to get data from properties file and also to store data into properties. File. So both ways we can use the properties class. We can use the get uh, method to get the value of the keys present in the properties file. And we can also set up the uh, key value data in, in the properties file by using the set method. Moreover, it can also be used to get the properties of a system too. As far as properties is concerned, the properties file has an extension of dot properties. So if we want to create a properties file, we can create it and we can create, in, create it in Eclipse also. But the extension of that file should be dot properties. Uh, properties files store data in key value pairs. So always the key is followed by the value. And both the key and the value will be in string format. That is how it is stored in the properties file. Keys have to be unique. You cannot have duplicate keys, but values of the key can be duplicated. The load method of the properties class is used to load data from the reader object or from the input stream object. So we can use the load method to load the data from the reader object or from the input stream object up there. And we can use the get property method after loading the data using the get property method we can get the uh, value of the key present in the properties file so the get property method is will be used to return value of the key similarly like your get property method we have a set property method the set property method will be used to set the property of the properties object and there's one more method called the store method. The store method is used to write properties to the writer object or to the output stream object out here. And as far as Selenium is concerned, the objective of creating a properties file is to keep object repositories in the properties file and maintain the object repositories from a single location. It can also be used to keep test data required for the purpose of testing. So we might have an environment specific to, let's say, uh, the system testing type, or we have, might have environment settings for UAT. So we can keep separate environments for system testing and UAT by using the properties file concept. So let us see an example of the properties file out here. So I will open up Eclipse, which is already open, and I'll create a new project called as uh, I think the new project should be session 37. Click on the next and click on the finish button. Say no to the perspective change or the theme change. Inside this particular project, I'm going to create a package which is part of the source folder and right click by highlighting the source folder folder go to new and go to package i'll call this package as properties package 
to depict the topic being taken and inside the properties package we are going to create a class file called the properties class to depict the class file so the first thing that we are going to use is the create the object of the properties class the properties class is a subclass of the hash table class we have seen that so first of all we create the properties object so what we are going to do is specifically we are going to create the object of it so create the object of it represented by the reference variable p new properties hover your mouse over the red underline and import that particular file it belongs to the utility package you can see that so we create the object of the properties file and there is a method called the load method of the properties class which is used to load the data from the properties file so using the load method so p dot load the load method basically loads data in the input stream object if you can see that so that means we have to define the file input stream class and create an object of the file input stream class call this as fi and it's equal to your new file input stream and we need to import the file input stream class from the uh, java input output package and if you see there's still a red underline now in the so we have to actually pass in the object the path of the properties file now we have not created the properties file so the first deal is to create the properties file from which the loading of the data will happen using the inside the file input stream object so i can create the uh, properties file inside the same project called session 37 so i highlight that right click go to new and choose the option of file out here if you do not see the file option you can go to others you can go to the general folder expand it you will see the file option select that and click on next and here you need to give the name of the properties file so i'll give the name as uh, settings and ensure that the extension of this file is dot properties and click on finish you will see that the setting dot properties file gets created in this particular project now this is where it has opened now the properties file uh, needs to have data in the key value pair and the keys is also a string format and the value is also in the string format so i can use the hashtag to create a comment so you can write down providing username and password Okay, and let's say the key is username and the username value it say let's say is Sam and we have another key called password and the value of this particular key is let's say Sam at the rate one two three four and we can save this particular properties file and go back to the properties class that we have created this class file and give the path of the properties file that we have created inside the object of the file input stream so how do we get the path of the properties file called settings dot properties we right click go to properties right click on the properties file go to properties option 
here we get the path so we can copy this particular path and go to the class file out here and just paste that particular path inside the object of file input stream ensure that it should be within the string format that the path is defined and ensure that you use a escape sequence when you are using a backward slash escape sequence has to be given otherwise the backward slash will be taken literally once done now i can pass on or rather load the data of the properties class in the input stream object so i'll pass on fi And when I do pass on the load the data in the, inside the input stream object, there's a red underline out here. And if I hover my mouse, it will basically th showing an exception which has to be handled. So I use the throws clause and the exception is the IO exception out here. So this is going to load the data in the input stream object. So after that, if I want to get the value of the key present inside the settings.properties file. So this is the key. This is the value of the key. If I want to get the value of this key, what I need to do, I need to use the get property method. So I can use the get property method uh, as part of the println command because I want to get the value of the key in the console of Eclipse. So I need to use the println command so sysort println and I can use p dot get property and I pass on the parameter which is of string type the key of it now ensure that the lower case and the upper case of the key is maintained and this key is starting with the upper case I can copy from here to be in the safer side and put the key out here so this will give me the value of this particular key. So I'm using the get property method to get the value of this key present in setting DOS properties file. So if I save this class file or property class and run it, I'll get the value of the key. Similarly, let's say I want to get the value of the key called password. I'll copy it from here. And I can use the sysout statement. I can write down p dot get property and put the key in the string format. And this will give me the value of the key called password. And the value of the key called password is sam at the rate one two three four. So if I save this class file called properties class and run this, I will get the value of the property value of the key called password as sam at the rate one two three four in the console of eclipse so this is how you get the property similarly you can set up the properties file also for setting up the properties file we need to use the set property method instead of the get property method and we have to use the store method in order to store the set property inside the properties file and the storing has to be done using the output stream object or the writer object out there. So this is uh, one example of getting the properties file. Similarly, you can use the uh, set property method to set up the properties file. So what you can do is if you want to set up the property, the properties file object is already created this is nothing but getting the property value or property getting the property key getting the value of the key present in properties file simply we can set up the value setting the properties file so 
for that we have to create an object the properties class that is already been created so what we can do is we can first set up the property p dot set property so you have to give the string and the value and we have to give the key and the value in the string format so the key can be for example uh, username to or username one and the value can be let's say Peter similarly I can set up one more key p dot set property the key can be password one and the password value can be your Peter at the rate one two three four once done I can basically store it so for storing we have to use the store method and the store method needs the output stream and a commenting part so the output stream needs to be given so you have to store the data in the output stream object so for that we need to create the output string so file output stream has to be used I'll call this as fo is equal to new file output stream import the file inputs output stream from the IO package and you will see that we have to add the arc point of it said so where do you want to create the file output stream out here in the same path the only thing I have to change the name of the properties file copy it from here and paste it the only thing that I need to do is put it within the string format first and I'll call this as settings one dot properties file and this fo has to be passed out here and commenting needs to be done uh, new credentials for username fun So once we do that we can save the class file and run it we're getting Sam the username value key value and the password key value out here in the content and we also see that the file input output stream uh, has got created or not for that let us refresh the project and we see that setting one dot properties file gets created and if you open it we will see that all username password for Sam and Peter is present out here and this is the commenting that I have done and this is the timestamping on which the properties file is created so it will not only create the username and password for Peter but for Sam also this is how we you can use the properties file uh, in the Java language and in selenium the properties file can be used for the purpose of keeping environment settings specific to let's say the system testing or specific to your UAT testing it can be also used for keeping the optic repositories uh, in the properties file so that the maintenance of the project becomes easier out there so that is all about your properties file thanks very much for watching this particular video if you have any questions please revert to us